Now we're going to demonstrate a method that should be a review from the third grade, and that's lattice multiplication. We're taking this problem here, 62 times 5, and we're going to multiply it using lattice multiplication. It involves the use of this grid here. My first step is going to be to multiply the 5 and the 2. And my answer gets written just like this. 5 times 2 is 10, so I'm going to write 10 just like so. Next step is going to be to multiply the 5 and the 6. 5 times 6 is 30, so we put it right there. Now I'm going to add diagonally just like this. And uh, 0 has nothing to be added to, so the 1's place is going to be 0. Uh, here's the tens place, adding the 1 and the 0 to get 1. And then 3 has nothing to be added with here, so it's just going to be a 3. And so my answer then becomes 310. Again, that's a review from third grade. Let's try that one more time with a 3 digit times a 1 digit where we have 265, which we'll write on the top of our grid, times 7, which we'll write over here on the right side. The 7 is going to get multiplied by the 5 first. We'll write our 35 like this. 7 times 6 gets written in this box like that. 7 times 2, written like this. And now I'm going to add diagonally across the grid here. 5 plus nothing gives me the 1's place. 3 plus 2, 4 plus 4, and 1 plus nothing. So my answer here becomes 1,855. Let's look at a lattice multiplication problem where we have the two digits times the two digits. If I'm looking at 26 times 34, I'm going to put uh, one number up here above the lattice grid, 26, and then one number on the side here, 34. I'm going to start by multiplying my 3 times my 6, then my 3 times 2. So 3 times 6 gives me 18. 3 times 2 is 6. I'm going to write that in with 0, 6 here. Uh, now I'm going to come down and I'm going to multiply 4 times 6 and 4 times 2, written in just like this. And now all I have to do is start adding at the right hand side here, adding uh, 4 plus nothing to give me 4. Then I'm going to add 8, 2, and 8 to get 18. I'm going to, just like I was adding, I'm going to write down the 8 carry the 1 so that I'm, when I add this next diagonal column here, I'm adding 1 plus 1 plus 6 is 8, and then 0 plus nothing is, is going to be 0 there. So I have my 100's place here, my 10's place here, my 1's place here, and so I get an answer of 884. The key is setting up your grid correctly, multiplying the numbers, together correctly, 3 times 6, 3 times 2, 4 times 6, 4 times 2, kind of reminds me of partial products in that way, and then you just have to make sure everything gets written in the right way, and the columns get added together, and that's lattice multiplication with two digit times two digit.